Hey everyone, welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. So a couple weeks ago we talked about going gluten free and so I thought today I we just finished grocery shopping so I figured I would kind of walk you through what we picked up um, and what a normal week's worth of groceries looks like. Um, so just to give you a little bit of some kind of picture, this is what my fridge is starting at. So we start out um, pretty clean as far as finishing most of the food per week. Um, I like to do uh, groceries every week simply because our produce stays fresher that way. And I can't seem to think past a week for groceries. So it's, it's messy, but that's what our fridge looks like. So just to kind of give you a picture of what um, a week in the life of a gluten-free family who's also soy-free and dairy-free and um, peanut-free for some of us. Now, obviously, not all are all of those things. So gluten-free is the only thing the whole family is. And then dairy, May and I are dairy free, Coleman is peanut free, and May is also soy free. And so I have a bag of organic red potatoes, and that will probably last us a couple weeks. Um, I also already have a bag of five, a five pound bag of sweet potatoes that we'll eat the, on this week. Um, I pick up a couple RX bars because there are so few bars that don't have soy or dairy or gluten in them. Um, that those are the bars that we found that my youngest will eat because she's also very picky about her bars. So um, pick up a couple of those every week and then uh, got those tiny avocados from Trader Joe's. I like them because they're just about the right size for um, like the girls and I for lunch. Some organic bell peppers. And let's see what else we have here. Got some organic celery. So I think what you'll find is that we really just get a ton of the whole foods and uh, work with those. Uh, coconut milk, we, I, uh, coconut milk, almond milk, whatever's on sale that week, we usually buy one of those. My youngest does love that creamy drink, even though she can't have um, dairy. And then I bought the peanuts that I talked about from the Nutrition Boosted Peanut Butter. I bought three bags of those because I'm gonna make a big batch of that this week. Um, again, Coleman won't be able to have that, but I also bought him some almond butter. Got a bag of organic apples and some corn tortillas from Trader Joe's. One of the things I love about Trader Joe's, we don't go every week, um, but I do love that their brand, so the foods that have the Trader Joe's label are guaranteed to be GMO free. And so if there's something that I'm not sure about as far as the corn product, then I will buy it at Trader Joe's because I know that if it has corn in it and it is, um, it has their private label on it, then I know that it is uh, GMO free and that's important to me. Um, the other thing we get is a big thing of lettuce from Costco. And basically we have a lettuce salad every night with dinner. Um, I At the beginning of every week, I prep about half of this in a big bowl. I add the carrots, I add celery, um, whatever veggies we want in our salad. And I just keep that big bowl in the fridge and then I pull it out so I don't have to make salad every night, but it's already made um, and it makes it so easy. And even my husband will come home and have a salad. Like if he didn't have enough to eat at a restaurant or somebody else's house, he'll come home and help himself to a salad if it's there. If it's not there, he usually has an ice cream bar or something, but um, when it's there, he eats it. A huge bag of cuties which we bought last week and I didn't, they were lousy. I needed to take them back this week and I didn't. Um, a thing of butternut squash that is chopped and prepped. Last week or the week before I bought two butternut squashes that weren't prepped and that's significantly more affordable, but this week I need something easy. Um, 
and being pregnant, this has tasted so good for to me instead of sweet potato. So got butternut squash, some Brussels sprouts, um, see some of the organic rice cauliflower. All this is from Costco or Trader Joe's. Those are the two stops we made today. I love the rice cauliflower. I throw it in almost any veggie mix I make. Um, I probably eat, you know, 70% of that bag myself. So it's just nice to get an extra veggie and I think it's, I don't think it adds a ton of flavor and so it's an easy way to get extra veggies in. Uh, two bu bushels of bananas because my girls uh, uh, often wake up hungry in the morning and so before I get them breakfast made or before we get out the door, they get a banana. It's easy, it's quick. Um, and it's Whole Foods, it's not a bar. Um, a block of cheese for the non-dairy um, sensitive people. And cucumbers, if you guys haven't tried these baby cucumbers, they're so good and I think they're better than big cucumbers. Let's see. And then a bag of super greens, which is what goes into all of our smoothies and our greens for breakfast. Um, the eggs, I'm not sure if I did the eggs. I always get a five dozen box of eggs. And um, we go through most of that in a week. So we do eggs a lot or within meals. That is a great way to hold things together, especially when you don't have gluten in your house. Um, and then I always, always, always get a rotisserie chicken from Costco because theirs are clean. So not all rotisserie chickens are clean. You have to check their ingredient list. And I was thinking today, I think I will put up a post of like all the other names for gluten because it's not just gluten or wheat. Um, there's a lot of other things that have gluten in them that have different names. So I always get a rotisserie chicken. They're $4.99 and they make for a really quick and simple meal during the week. So that is all we bought this week. Oh, almond butter, which you guys don't necessarily need to see, but um, really not a ton of like officially gluten-free products because we eat the whole foods. We just get the foods from scratch. Now a lot of this is gonna take prep. All the butternut squash, all the Brussels sprouts, all that's gonna take prep. The salad's gonna take prep. So there does have to be some meal prep involved. Okay, so I never got to finish the rest of that video that I was making for you because mommy duty called. Um, but I just wanted to say that, as you can see, um, it definitely takes some food prep to buy the fresh and whole ingredients. All the Brussels sprouts will have to be baked, all the butternut squash, the salad has to be made. Um, but once you do that, um, you pretty much just pull it out and warm it up for the week, which is nice. Um, I think next week I will go through my pantry and do some of the dried goods because that's where you'll find more of the like gluten-free specific products. Um, and I'll also include like the tamari and some of the sauces with that. But, um, yeah, that I don't I hope that was helpful for you guys to kind of see get a picture of what we buy on the fresh side of things um, we do eat meat with every dinner um, but with my husband being a hunter we have elk in the freezer and we buy a cow a grass-fed grass-finished cow every fall and we have antelope this year um, and so I buy chicken maybe once a month just to work in for variety. Um, but we tend to just do bulk meat and keep it in our freezer and eat off that. So meat is not necessarily a regular part of our weekly grocery trip. Um, but do know that's in there. And so I'm being gluten-free, our diet consists of mostly meat and vegetables, healthy fats, and then um, some whole grain carbs in the form of brown rice and quinoa and whatever. So yeah, so next week I will go through my pantry which will be more um, gluten-free specific foods. But again, I hope you found this helpful. Um, 
I hope you found this helpful as far as just what fresh foods we buy. Um, if it wasn't helpful, let me know and I'll do something different next time. So I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and um, if you have any questions or something about you know, a sp specific product I bought or why I buy certain things, let me know. I'd love to answer them.